Walking in my purpose on purpose, trying to let these young boys know it's worth it. These demons be lurking. Traumatized by the crimes over time, but my mind keeps me hungry and thirsty. My soul can't be purchased. Remember. So today with us on Stool Talk, we're honored to have Spotlight Athlete. Uh, this man has been putting in all the hard work on and off the court, um, going above and beyond, extra with the training, great teammate. Uh, he got a great love for the game, and he got a great feel for the game at a young age, up and coming. Today we have with us Mr. Anthony Burroughs. How you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, Mr. Burrow. So how did this basketball journey begin with you? What age was you when you first started playing and was basketball your first sport? Uh, I was about like seven or I was about like four to five. And my my first sport was like flag football. Uh -huh. I was I played in the Y and I was just killing everybody. Um, my dad, my dad thought I was good enough. So he took me to a camp and I went off at the camp uh -huh. and I got I got ranked in the country. Yeah, it started there. Wow, wow. Well, what do you love most about basketball? Um, just putting in the work, uh, trying to be successful, and just trying to be proud of my dad, make my dad proud. Yeah. What does your dad mean to you, and what does family mean to you in the support? I know you say that he pushes you, and you're even able to accept him pushing you because you know that's going to make it better. Um, What does that mean to you? Um, it means a lot because I know my dad, when he was younger, he wanted to live up his dream and play basketball too. So I'm just going to try to keep his legacy and keep my grandparents' legacy, keep going and keep uh, keep pushing through, and keep working. Yeah. What type of leader do you think that you are? Do you lead with your play or do you lead with your voice? Uh, I lead with my voice. A leader, I'm a leader before a, a player. I, I like to lead, I lead by example. Yeah. And what would you say to a teammate who's down after a missed shot, a turnover, or just not having a good game? What would you say to them? Um, it's just it, it keep going. It's just one bad play or or just keep keep pushing through it. Just keep playing hard. Keep doing what you can do. Yeah. And and where did you get that from your dad, or is it just inside you? Because y'all do extra training when everybody kicking it, when everybody doing stuff, y'all doing extra stuff, even with no ball, like y'all doing drill work. Footwork, y'all doing all this stuff, hot weather, like inclement weather. It don't matter. You putting in the extra work. Where did that come from? Um, it was really from my dad. My dad always pushed me. I've been I've been working my hardest to get in shape. I even though I've been always been a bigger kid. So mm -hmm. I've been trying to tone up a little bit, and that's why I keep that's why I work the way I work. Yeah. What would you say? sets you apart when somebody sees Anthony or you on somebody's team, what sets you apart from the other players? Um, my IQ. I'm I me personally, I'm never gonna be the fastest, the most athletic, but my I, I feel like my IQ will take me as far as I can go. Yeah, and like I like I said to your dad before the uh interview we was talking, the footwork is what I noticed. What you say in the IQ, I noticed that too, because I see you unselfish. I didn't see you make an extra pass when another person would have shot a bad runner or bad shot. You pass and you find in the uh open man and you you're a great team player. Um, and with the footwork, that's gonna help you even get above your opponent because you'll be able to make moves, drop step. Quick, you know, he might think he got you and then you off to the hole, laying it up. So that's great that you're a team player. Um, what would you say to a kid who wants to be in the position you are playing with uh, a great team or wants to be able to be successful and compete? Um, just to keep working and uh just lead by example. When your teammate does something bad, don't get down. Just keep playing. I used to I used to do that when I was younger. I used to be a bad teammate and I had to learn that it's not always going to be a good play. So, and I learned about that. Yeah, how do you balance schoolwork with practice, games, traveling, being a young kid, still living life, family? How do you balance that? Uh, at first, in seventh grade, it was kind of difficult. But then I had got used to it. And uh, schoolwork before basketball. Yeah. So I had to do my schoolwork first. And if I don't do my schoolwork, it's no basketball, so. 
Wow, that that and that's great. That's great to have that foundation and that push. Um, what aspects of your game do you feel like you need to improve on, and how do you plan on improving on it? Um, it's running the floor better, uh, getting more athletic. And if I the sky's the limit, if I get more athletic, that's what I feel like. Yeah. Um, name some. I know your dad won. Name some coaches or some people who've been influential in this basketball um journey that you're on right now. Um, when I was younger, my coach named Hayden Lewis, uh, Coach Lewis, and my uh new coach at recently that's got the Springfield job named Coach Nick. Okay. He been pushing, me, he been pushing me in different ways, and he really been getting me ready for high school. So yeah. my dad, my Coach Lewis. So um, can you name a memorable game, a memorable play, or a memorable moment that you had this season? Um, whether it be in that basketball year or even this summer uh, with AAU. Um, during my school ball, we was down, we was down by like twelve, and I hit, I think I hit four step back threes in a row, to bring us back in the game, and yeah, nah, it was it was fun. We played Perrysburg too. I don't like Perrysburg. Uh, was you charged up after you was hitting them threes? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was lit. It was, it was fun. Yeah, I like it. Last couple of questions. I'm gonna get you out of here. Looking okay. ahead, what are your um goals individually coming this next season at Springfield and even team wise? Um, my goal is to win for probably playing freshman on varsity this uh, this coming up year. My goal is to be a good a good leader, and not and when I go through a freshman slump or something, to not get down on myself. Yeah. And we should be we should be really good this year. Young, athletic, fast. We should be really good. Um, what would you say to the people that know and see your game and see how you're developing? What keeps you motivated to be humble and try to get better instead of being complacent? Um, I really stay humble because I, I hear a lot of people talking down on me and keep and telling me that I'm not going to make it. People telling my dad that if I don't get in shape, I'm not going to ever play. I just let it go through the ear out of the ear and keep working, keep pushing myself, and just keep playing hard, keep doing what I can do. Yeah, because it's obvious you don't, because I just heard you say, yeah, I'm going to slim up. I've been working on this. So you saying the things that you need to do that they probably think that you ain't, you know, doing. And they, that's that's why we do these interviews, because everybody's journeys, everybody's way that they approach the game is different. You got people that's looking up to you, that's watching you and wants to know your story, how you do it, the hard work. They might not know that you putting in all this extra work. I see it from afar, but now when I see plays and highlights in the game, I'm like, that's from extra that he's doing off the court mm -hmm. you know um and what would you say to a young kid that's struggling to have one foot in with basketball and sports and one foot in with the streets and around his friends and stuff what would you say to that player um to stay in the sports recently my one of my close friends just got killed from being a one foot in bath for one foot in football player and one foot in the streets so he lost his life but he really wanted to be a sports he, he really wanted to be an athlete but he got pushed in something he didn't want to be in. And so he lost his life from that. So that that's motivating for me. Um, okay, last thing. I want you to, whatever comes to your mind, speak something positive to the youth. Um, just to keep working. Listen to your listen to your parents. My dad has really uh my dad has really pushed me to keep going. Just listen to your parents and just keep working, eat right. Do your schoolwork and just keep and just keep doing what you can do to be a successful athlete. Yeah, and we thank you, Mr. Burroughs, for um, you know, coming on here and sharing your journey, man. Continue to put the hard work on, continue to be humble, continue to listen to your dad, your coaches to be the best version of you that you can do. It sky's the limit. You done played around a lot of different teams, a lot of different places. So you you know big games. You ain't you you ain't scared of the moment. So don't never let the moment be able to be too much for you. When you go to Springfield, allow them to know what player they're getting and and dominate, make your own trail and, and you determine what's going to be not the naysayers and all like that we're proud of you man because you could be doing anything else but you playing the game you love you listening to your parents and you being a great kid man and we spotlighting you and just telling you continue with your journey and you know being the best that you can be sure yeah yeah so we thank appreciate you, thank you for having me off oh, for sure we're gonna be watching we're gonna be sharing you um and you know we're gonna be rooting for you man because you can do it man thank you yep thank you Okay. Yeah.